What's up, big lads, niggas? This your boy, Jay Miles, and I am back with another video. And you know what to do. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking. But most importantly, make sure you share it with your ugly ass friends. On today's video, we will be covering Power Universe. And this one will be dealing with books three and I guess you can say two. But both of them, is, but it's like more of a flashbook. But anyway, it's going to be titled, Did, did um, Monet Set Up Lorenzo Like Rock Did Marvin? Now, I know a lot of y'all glad niggas is going to probably be jumping in saying Rock didn't set up Marvin. But in my opinion, I think she most definitely did set up Marvin. And I'll discuss that more in this video. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. So, in season one of Power Book 3, Raising Canaan, um, if you can pay attention, Rock was kind of very disrespectful towards Marvin. I mean, she's, you can tell she still got love for him, but she was very disrespectful towards him. The way she used to talk to him, talk down to him, saying he wasn't fit to be the leader and all that and stuff like that. And even if it is true, you know what I'm saying, it's still a way that you talk to people. Like, and then she, you know, Marvin actually ended up checking her on what was that, episode nine, when he was letting her know, you know, you his baby sister and you talking to him the way you doing you like his voice needs to be heard i'm still a man which is the truth like you can still like even if you over it you can still you know what i'm saying talk to him in a more respectful manner like this is not just a regular nigga on the street that's a that's a real nigga and then that's your older brother on top of that so you know after that you know rock wasn't really talking to him like that anymore after he finally you know said something to her about that. But this is my thing. If you can remember, he also discussed that um, he had, when she was going off on him, one of them things, he, was, he, he put it out there and said, I was set up. Right? And, and um, Rock tried to do, blow it off and was like, you was, you was getting high on your own product. Now, I'm, I'll go ahead and say I don't have any concrete evidence at the moment that, you know, she that she set him up. But I think there is a very high possibility because let's look at rock history. She absolutely they already showed y'all that she, I mean, showed us that, you know, well, they didn't show us. But, you know, on season three, um, Pranessa mentioned that she set up high post, right? So if she set up high post, then we know she who who became the you know the the boss after high post did it was Rock. But that but keep in mind that they also said that Marvin was you know what I'm saying Marvin was over it before Rock was. So if he was over before Rock was, I would my guess is that Marvin must have been over high post. So I mean he had to. How else would he have had or or let let's just say maybe after high post, very briefly, Marvin was over it. And then, you know, after he got arrested, um, Rock became the leader. But I mean, they didn't they didn't say it like that because I remember when Howard was talking. If you can remember, Howard was like he was talking to Unique. He was like, "We all know one of the worst things that happened to the South Side was Rock taking over for High Post." So my guess is that Marvin was over High Post, and then he went inside. High Post took over. Rock set him up, and then she became the boss. So that. To me, just kind of seemed like, you know, that she may have had a hand in the door. Because let's not forget, Rock is a snake. 
And I think and Rock and Monet are both cut from the same cloth. They hunger for power and then they so they search narcissists that they believe that what they're doing is for the greater good of the family. But in actuality, if they really look their ass in the mirror, they can see that you only did that shit for yourself because you're selfish. But you have lied so much. Like Lorenzo was telling, Lorenzo and um, Mecca was telling Monet in episode one that you've lied to yourself so much that you actually made yourself believe that that's what you're doing. You're doing it for everyone else. But in actuality, you're selfish. Getting me on to the next one, which is Monet. Remember, I keep telling y'all about these power parallels. So more than likely, since we found out, because they, they gave us some key information on this past episode. Because if you can pay attention after episode, I mean, after season one of Power Book 2, we were under the impression, and season two, actually. Well, I would say season one through three, actually. We were under the impression that Lorenzo was always the top dog and Lorenzo was running shit. And, you know, pretty much Monet was just following everything Lorenzo told her to do. Because that's how she portrayed it. You remember when she was talking to... When she was talking to Diana on the season finale of of season three, she was saying that was that it was Lorenzo that was calling the shots, and she the one put y'all, y'all in the life. She she kept saying shit like that, so we were under the impression that you know she, Lorenzo was the one dragged the dragged the whole family into being drug dealers. But after reviewing, you know, episode two of this new season. We can see clear as day that it was Monet who did it because she dragged Kane into it. Because what did Lorenzo tell her? Don't be mixing it with um, the family because it's got, it's not going to end well. Remember that. So unless that's just the writers made doing a major, major F up, that means Monet was the one who did that. And with that being said, if Monet wanted to, was the one making decisions like that, she knew, because look how Lorenzo resp- responded after um, he found out that she put that gun o- under there and had a gun with Lorenzo Jr. in the car, right? How he responded. So he knew, and you can pay attention to how Lorenzo was doing after he got out. Lorenzo was the one that hold all the power. And you can ask you as they've been showing us throughout this whole series, Monet is the type of person that wants control and power. Kane said it this past episode. It's just you trying to control everything. Which is the truth. So with Monet being the control freak that she is, I would have to go with that I believe it's very much possible that she set Lorenzo up to go to jail so that she could run the shit the way she wanted to. Also, keep in mind, Ghost and Tasha did the same thing to Kanan. So there goes the parallel. It's the same thing, you know what I'm saying, happening over and over again. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover up in there. Y'all let me know in the comments, what do y'all think? Do you think Rock set up uh, Marvin? And also, of course, do you think Monet set up Lorenzo. Let me know in the comments. But um, pretty much, you know, like usual, if you if you cool with me, fool with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking. But most importantly, make sure you share it with your glass friends. But until the next video, I'm out.